Hello everybody, today we are on a quest to craft an abyssal harpoon and then after that we're going to capture a sea serpent and, uh, and, and use his scales to craft a serpent scale shield. Alright, so we're going to start out by searching for some chitin, or chitin, however you pronounce that, I'm not entirely sure. In order to find, let's call it chitin, <laughs> or chitin, uh, we need to get aboard our ship and head out to sea, and we are going to start looking for a leviathan. A leviathan looks a lot like a floating island. And uh, once we get there, uh, well, I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll tune you in and show you exactly what you're looking for. Don't forget to bring your pickaxe. Whenever I go sailing and I'm on a uh, server, not on my local seed local computer, where I could suffer a potential disconnect, I like to carry a bunch of stamina potions. The reason for this, and this is a good important tip, is because if you happen to disconnect whilst you're sailing, uh, when you log back in, your boat will be way far away, and you will be floating in the sea. Uh, you can swim for quite a ways if you have your health up, and I also like to keep my health up quite a bit when I'm sailing for just that very reason. Uh, if I do disconnect, <clears throat> I can uh, sip a few stamina potions and swim myself all the way back to my boat, even if it is quite a ways out. You can save yourself some pain and some trouble in recovering lost items due to uh, to a disconnect. Anyway, onward! We are searching for a leviathan. So what we are going to be looking for to start is an ocean biome. If, up, up, looking at, up, 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 if you look at the top right of your mini-map, you can see that right now we are in the ocean, and that is where to find the leviathan. So you just sail out until you're far enough away from islands that you actually register as ocean, and from there, we just have to sail and search, search and sail. Well, we have entered into the darkest, dreariest, foggiest part of the world that I think I have ever seen on our quest for a leviathan. I can't even see if there's land in front. I can't see left, I can't see right. All I can see is a lot of dark and fog. All right, the adventure continues. And I just crashed into land. That's the thing about sailing in the... Oh, I'll be darned. <laughs> I've crashed into a leviathan. Uh, well, that was lucky. Um, okay, so, yeah, here we, here we go. There's a leviathan. I probably would have liked to show you, him, show you how he looks in the daytime, but you get the idea. He's a big floating landmass. Um, yeah, okay, so on a leviathan, what you will find are these abyssal... Ab Abyssal barnacles. Uh, he'll have quite a few of these, and this is what we're looking for. We need to mine those with a pickaxe. Remember where you put your boat and keep it nearby because we're going to be jumping back and forth a bit, unloading our barnacles, and sooner or later this guy's going to start submerging under the water. When he does that, we need to get the heck off and sail away. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. We are kind of racing against the clock here. Try to gather up as many of the uh, abyssal barnacles as we can. Oops, I think I'm missing. Alright. Doing pretty good so far. Let's see, here's some more. With abyssal barnacles, you can also craft an abyssal dagger, which is a decent little dagger. It certainly looks cool. I'm really more of a swords guy myself, but uh, for those of you who like daggers, it's a good place to get one. Uh oh Okay. He's moving. He's shaking. <laughs> now, I have never tried uh, uh, to test what happens when he actually sinks to the... when he actually uh, submerges. <laughs> um... So I'm just gonna, gonna try to remember where I put my boat. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're shaking. Is he going under? He might be. I know where my boat is. Oh, we're going under. I think we're going under. Oh yeah. Are we going under? Maybe. 
Yep, we're going under. Okay, let's back her up. Yep, so you want to get off before he sinks. Now, I don't know what happens if you're on him when he sinks, but uh, <laughs> I've never been brave enough to find out. So that being said, we have 47 chitons, or chitons, however they are, which probably, I think, is quite enough for our purposes. So let's sail home and uh, begin the next phase of this adventure. Uh-oh, we are being attacked by a sea serpent. We do not have our harpoon ready yet. So in this case, we're just going to have to defend ourselves as best as we can. Oh yeah, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad when you get a decent bow. That being said, I really, really like that serpent stew, so I'm going to back up this boat and, uh, and collect those serpent... Uh, Serpent, uh, serpent somethings. Serpent, uh, well, we'll see what they're called in a minute. I forget. Serp serpent flanks, I think. <laughs> All right, time to take a little swim. Collect some of that sweet, sweet serpent meat. <laughs> yeah, this stuff makes into a fantastic stew that uh, gives you a great health boost, a great stamina boost. It's really great for big battles like boss fights and that sort of stuff, so I usually save it for that sort of thing. All right, home sweet home, straight ahead to begin a crafting of our uh, abyssal harpoon. All right, time to craft, but, uh, craft rather, our abyssal harpoon, eight fine wood, 30 chitin, three leather scraps, ba -dum boom Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go test this out. Okay, I have caught myself a gray dwarf with my abyssal harpoon. He looks reluctant. He doesn't seem to want to go where I want him to go, but <laughs> he has no choice. Uh, yeah, oh man, so fun. So, so fun. <laughs> Alright. Off the ledge, buddy. Get out of my property. All right, we're gonna take a few more practice throws with this abyssal harpoon. There we go, I got a deer. <laughs> Come on, deer. Come on, deer. Come on. He doesn't seem to want to come with me. That's okay, that's okay, we'll release the deer. Off you go, buddy, you're free. You're free, buddy, you're free. How do I free you? There you go, you're free, all right. <laughs> Oh, there's another gray dwarf. Let's cat. That's a harpoon him. Oh, that was a miss. Try again. There we go. All right. I think I got the hang of this thing. <laughs> oh, too fun. Good fun. Those clever game developers, I tell you. All right. With our harpooning skills pretty much honed to a fine mastery, we're back in the boat, heading out to the seas, heading out to the ocean to look for a sea serpent. Not everybody knows this, but when you have your sail set, you can actually get up out of your seat, let your boat continue along. As long as you have those sails set, you will continue mo your momentum. <clears throat> this can be helpful if you're trying to engage or range something like a sea serpent or a deskito chasing you. Uh, you can move and, uh, and defend your ship at the same time that you're being attacked. Well, I have now been sailing for about an hour, searching for a sea serpent. They can be a little bit tricky to come by. As far as I know, you need to be in the ocean. If you look at the top right corner of your mini-map, where it says ocean, that is where you need to be. And eventually, hopefully, a sea serpent will appear. Okay, I think we have finally found a sea serpent. And... A sea serpent actually has a spawn location. Oh man, okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, we gotta find the nearest land mass. Hopefully the boat doesn't get killed by the time we get to the nearest land mass. But what we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna get sea serpenty boy 
to follow us into shore. Don't want to outrun them necessarily too much. There we go. Here we go. A swamp. Never been so happy to see a swamp. <laughs> so we're going to try to keep our speed up a little bit. Once we get closer to shore, man, that is not a great place to try to wrangle a sea serpent. Maybe we can draw him down the coast a little bit. Where is he? Yeah, we don't want to lose him. So we're going to try to draw him down the coast a little bit until we can find a decent spot to land. Uh, nothing too great around here. It'd be nice to have a meadows or a plains or a black forest or anything really. <laughs> oh no, are we losing him? Oh no. Oh no. Got to turn around and see if we can catch up with him. <laughs> Oh, I see him. I see, I see, I see serpent him. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go get some attention. And then we will have to pull him into the swamp. It's not ideal, but uh, it'll work. We saw him, but uh, we lost him. Oh, there he is again. There he is. All right. Okay, that's fine. Get a little bit of attention. Let's see if we can... Maybe wrangle him from here. We have only so many throws of our harpoon, so. And, uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. All right, where'd you go? Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. Okay. Okay. Yep, now he sees us. Okay, that's fine. And the wind's against us. That's great. Not the best. Oh, not the best at all. Okay. <laughs> I think I see a little bit of land this way. With a little luck, we can catch some wind. There's no wind. Almost in the wind. Ah, oh, man. Yikes. Halfway. Halfway on the boat. Okay, we got some wind. We got some wind, and are those islands? No. Those are not islands. Those are just undiscovered spots that look kind of like islands. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we'll head back to the swamp biome. <clears throat> this time we're going to try not to outrun them. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can wrangle them. Missed. All right, more speed, a little more speed. Ah, yikes, boat's definitely taking some damage now. We're not heading towards the island. We're gonna have to head away from it. Ah, where did it go? Oh, he's still behind us. <laughs> uh, I think we lost him again. Nope, there he is. Still following, that's good. Slow down a little bit. Let him catch up. Yeah, we definitely got to get back to land here before this boat comes apart. <clears throat> oh no, he's losing interest again. All right, he's, he's, he swam away again. <clears throat> All right, let's go looking for him. We got sight of him. We got sight of him. Let's get ourselves into the wind. Sail alongside him. If we can just get his attention here now. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not chasing. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> we really just need to make sure that we stay near to the wind, because when it's time to go, it's going to be time to go. And uh, otherwise, this is kind of finagling a sea serpent. All right, try to reverse a little bit. Get closer to him that way. I can keep my uh, keep my sail in the wind, in the direction of the wind, so that when we need to make a quick getaway, we can. Maybe I can harpoon him. Let's see here. Too far. Okay. Oh, got him. Okay. Let's see here. Full speed ahead. 
go, go, go. <laughs> I definitely got his attention now. <laughs> That'll work. Come on, buddy. Come on, this way. This way, back to shore. So we have to get him to shore because if we kill him in sea, at sea, his, uh, his uh, scales will sink. Oops. All right. Oh, should have pulled him up a little bit more. Took my sword out so too soon. All right, we need a little stamina here. Okay, we got him again. All right, we need to pull him into, into... This is not an ideal place to wrangle a sea serpent. Not at all. But hopefully we can make this work. Do we still have him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, he seems distracted. I don't think we still have him. Oh, we did have him. Okay, well, we got him again. <laughs> All right, let's go around the corner. Around the corner. Oh, we got leeches. We got everything we don't... Oh, we can put our rope straight through the tree. Well, that's handy. That's, that's, that's good. You know what's doing the job here? <laughs> the leeches are doing the job on the sea serpent. I take it back. This is a great place to take down a sea serpent. All right. You know what? We're going to call this one way to do it. If you accidentally, well, accidentally, if you, oh, okay. There's not without its hazards. Did we get him? I think we got him. Well, the leeches got him. Okay. <laughs> Let's call, call that good enough. Uh, now we just need to survive these leeches. And uh, droggers. And uh, with all that being said, oh, we even got a sea serpent trophy. All right. Sea serpent meat, sea serpent scales. Uh, we're making out like bandits here. Ha, huh. okay, all right. Let's see. How do we do? nine sea serpent, serpent scales and we need eight to craft a shield so i think we're going to call this mission accomplished if i can survive my way back here which i absolutely can <laughs> all right i'll see you guys back at the workshop okay so 10 fine wood four iron eight serpent scales and you get a shield with a block power of 90 by comparison, let's take a look at uh, some of the other shields we can craft. By comparison, your silver shield has a block power of 75. Your bronze buckler, buckler has a block power of 45. Your black metal shield has a block power of 90. So the silver shield is uh, right up there with the best shields you can get. Let's craft one up. Boom. All right, serpent shield. Let's see how that looks. Pretty flashy. Definitely serpenty. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And uh, subscribe. There's going to be more like this coming up. Movement speed minus 5, movement speed minus 10. You know what? I think this, the silver shield has a bit of an edge on it in terms of movement speed debuffs. But uh, yeah, there it is. All right.